Welcome back to the check-in. Today I'm joined by Tyler Cahoon and we are going to be talking about a meme pool dot space upgrade that makes it easier to use and should impact positively the overall Bitcoin mining community. Tyler, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm excited to talk about this. I think this is a, a really cool feature that they released that simplifies what it takes to uh, you know, accelerate a transaction and, and get it unstuck from the mempool. So I'm uh, excited to dive in and explain it. Great. Let, let's just dive right in and let's just look at this in two parts. First part is maybe what the problem was. And then we can look at the second part, which would be the solution and now how the accelerator makes it just easier for people to use. So if you could, let's start with where it was and what was the problem? Yeah. So, so today when you are sending a transaction, you're often relying on your wallet and if if you get out bid right you say i want to send this transaction to Jarrett. i want to attach this tiny fee to it so that the miners decide to confirm it and if you get out bid by other people trying to send transactions then the miners will pick those transactions first and so you know depending on your knowledge depending on your wallet uh it, it might be really confusing and you might go to send that transaction thinking thinking it's going to get confirmed within the next hour or so and it just just sits there and pending and if you don't understand what's going on you know on the blockchain this gets very confusing and very frustrating and uh there there are some things that exist today that we can explain but the cool thing about the accelerator which I'm showing is that it, it kind of dummy proofs it. You can go into the mem into the transaction, into the, the blockchain, find your transaction, find a friend's transaction if you want, click on it, and then it just has this accelerate button. So I don't have to think about which wallet I sent it from. I don't have to think about you know what the features uh, what features are available in my wallet. I can come here, find the transaction, hit accelerate. And then I can either pay with Cash App or scan this QR code and pay with a Lightning invoice. And, uh, you know, it'll get confirmed within the next few blocks. Um, currently, in the way they design this is that mining pools are kind of incentivized to join. Uh, and they can just, like, implement this code to do so. So right now, there's about 40% of miners that, are, that have implemented this. And that means that, you know, 40% of the time, you're... you're accelerated transaction will we'll get approved in the next block. Okay, that sounds great. And how many people do you think are using this right now? Are you using this? How many miners are using this? You said 40% of miners are basically opted in to use this or said, yes, let's use this. But how many people looking at the mempool dot space are actually kind of aware that this has happened? Oftentimes, especially in our world of automatic upgrades on our cell phones or whatever it is, or our iOS or whatever we're running, Upgrades happen a lot and we may not be aware of them. So how many people do you think are actually taking advantage of this new essential fast pass for transactions? Yeah, so they have somewhere on the website where you can actually view the people that are using it. And I mean, it's it just released. It's uh, it's not being used very widely. And I mean, we're still in we're still like in early stages of, of Bitcoin. Uh, like a lot of a lot of people are nerds. They understand how to get their transactions through. And there are like, you know, the wallets make it very easy for people to do so. So um, the UI kind of helps with all that. But this will build over time. And I think that wallets will implement this to make it so that there's a new button that shows up and it just streams through mempool. It uses their feature to kind of approve these out of band. Um, I, I don't know if that really answered your, answers your question, but uh, it's a new thing that wallets and other tools and miners need to implement before it gets widely adopted. No, I think you did answer my question. I mean, one of the biggest things is that this is still a new technology, right? Even the mining community, even, even within the Bitcoin community, many people are not necessarily looking at mempool.space. Uh, they're just buying off an exchange, putting in a cold storage wallet, and then they're kind of hodling and they're you know moving on with their life. So I think that was a great answer. And one of the things that is often said of Bitcoin and I guess the larger crypto community is that their overall user experience is really horrible and it's not easy to do things like it's just not easy to do things. It's not easy to transact. So it does sound like mempool.space is looking at that maybe and saying, yeah, let's do this. This is going to make it easier, as you said, to make sure transactions go through. And if you want that fat, fast pass, I, I was thinking like Disney or whatever, the speed pass, you know, if you're waiting in line for a roller coaster, you don't have to wait in line. You can actually just pay a little bit extra money and get to the front and be assured that you're going to get on the roller coaster, which I know in this analogy means your transaction goes through. Um, is that a salient analogy? And 
then my question is, is there a way that people are going to start to use this accelerator and there's a way to like bid there and you're just moving the bidding process to another part or am I wrong? Yeah, that's a, that's a really great analogy. I mean, I think it's perfect. Um, I, I do think people will start to use this in interesting ways. I mean, maybe I'll take a step back and kind of explain what exists today, right? If you, if you send a transaction through and you, you send too low of a fee, there are two things you can do. You can, uh, you can go back into your wallet and say, all right, I want to resend that transaction at a larger fee. And that will allow it to go through within the next block if you pick a high enough fee. Another thing is like, I don't know, if we want to use the, the line analogy, it's, co- it's almost like a buddy pass. Like I send Jarrett some money and, you know, Jarrett's like, I want to ride with you, man. I want to ride this ride with you. He'll take my hand and pay a little bit extra money to pull us both through to the front of the line and get that transaction confirmed. And so now this accelerator... Uh, it just adds a third element where you can out of band pay a separate transaction and skip to the front of the line. So now this is just like, you know, a way to expand different ways you can get transactions confirmed, different ways you can get to the front of the line. Um, and yeah, it's just, just more optionality and, uh, yeah. And it even makes a way for mempool to kind of monetize a little bit. Uh, and for miners, like mining pools are kind of incentivized to sign up for this because it, it's more money in their pocket so they can run their business and stay afloat. Yeah, that's a really good angle that I think you just brought up. The fact that mempool has figured out kind of how to monetize it just, you know, so they can get paid. If you're bringing a quality service or quality product, especially in Bitcoin, I think people are definitely willing to pay. And so that's something great to see. Is there anything else you want to add around this accelerator or any things that maybe you think they're going to continue to build on now that they have this accelerator? No, I just, uh, I think that you, other miners should look at this and try to implement it, you know, see if it, it makes sense for them to add. And I'm just really excited to see how, you know, wallets and other, other apps integrate this. Um, yeah, it's, it's still new. It's brand new really. And, uh, that I, I think there's, this is going to be used in ways that we can't even fathom. Tower, thank you so much for hopping on and talking about this mempool.space upgrade. If you're listening to this in a podcast platform, please go ahead and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe. We plan to have check-ins come out once every week, so stay tuned for the next check-in. Tower, thanks once again for hopping on, and we'll see you soon, probably on the next check-in. Sounds good. It was a pleasure.